Hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I am going to make a call on this stock market. The data sets in the spreadsheet are not good. If we look at this, 0.8362 was the number that we dialed yesterday. And now we are 8339 on the internet, 8339 on the intraday activity for today. Now that's still green. It's still a rally. However, our rally is shrinking fast. If we look back across the channel, we'll see that the XLI is still good. We'll see that the healthcare stocks, the XLV, had a really strong day today, bounced well, but it is still not doing everything. We've got some caution there. All of a sudden, our XLF financials have moved into caution, 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 Earthling. They're still in a rally, but they're now suddenly cautious, 32.58. Our XLC communications index, this is very interesting. Um, this has turned to full red. And what's going on with the communications index is that communications companies cannot collect their bills. Nobody's paying for their cell phone service any longer. AT&T on their quarterly results just announced that they have over a billion dollars of outstanding bills that people haven't paid. Just not paying them. Economy is really bad out there. Here is the XLY. Very, very low number. Notice that 0 0.001 print for today, 0 0.001. It's lowest historic number. It's printed in this rally. Now it's still holding in there at 0 0.8337, but notice how it's dropped from 0 0.8363 to 0 0.8337. It is just barely holding on to its gain or to its rally. We look at XLB. XLB is doing okay. It's hanging in there. We look at the XLK. XLK has turned red and turned negative for the day still in technical rally mode because we still have that white zone there, but it is not well. XLU, money is going into the safety of utilities. XLE, our only area that is just soaring. I did get out of my Exxon Mobil shares, as you know, for $91.25. XLP, um, still hanging in there. Um, the grocery store sector and that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call this market as being done. I'm going to jump in front of the data sets here. We'll have to see what happens going into the close. I might be calling this, you know, an hour early or whatever, but we will end up doing that. So we've done the Excel spreadsheet. Let's go back and look at our chart for the day. Notice that we're starting to break down to this level, 81,750. Let's just call it 81,750. But what I'm doing in the math is I'm looking at the XLK dropping 5%, $6.82 to 129.53, the technology sector. I'm looking at the XLY, which is the highest sector. 148.15 is a key point in the XLY for today. We'll have to watch that. We're very close to that key point. So 135.50 on the XLK wouldn't be very good. But Extrapolating out the data, if we look at, um, the spreadsheet's closed now, but if we looked at the 8339 and we divided that by 0 0.8362 the day before, we're looking for a 2.758% decline in the Dow so far. 
the Dow closed yesterday as was 31,990. So if you do this math, 31,990 minus 2.758, you're looking at a negative 882.28, which if you subtract that from that, you end up with 31,107. So here's the problem with 31,107. If we go back to our chart and we choose 31,107, we just come down here and we say, hey, let's bring this down to 31,107. What day do we go back and retrace to? And it's right there, 3990, 31,107, right in that range. Okay. So you can see that we retrace back to all of our gains that we've had in this market rally, this bear market rally. And we come in and it makes logical sense that we're just right here with no signal point and that we're back into the middle of this pattern, this W pattern that broke out. We're right back into the center of that as well too. And notice this W pattern that failed and dropped us lower. We're right back into the middle of that W pattern as well too. So 31,107 uh, 31, is not necessarily the greatest spot to be in this world, going into the economic data that we have coming up. So I believe that 31,107 is in the target now. We'll have to see what happens with the data sets for the rest of the day today. We'll have to see how weak the data set is by the close today. Um, you know, we can always surprise to the upside, but we now know what our ranges are, 31,107 and 32280, 32280 on the upside and 31107 on the downside. We now know what our targets at least are based upon the mathematical data. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your day.